is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, look who we oh. have. It's a beautiful thing. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We got to take it by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 24, NASDAQ down 34, S&P's off 6, gold contract down $6.70, trading at 15.08 an ounce. Silver down 2 cents, $18.09 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up a buck forty-five, caught a bid, fifty-seven dollars ninety-seven cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year down eighteen ticks, one thirty twenty-five. Thirty-year down a full point plus twenty-one ticks, one sixty-two twenty-seven. King dollar. King dollar down one hundred and thirty ticks, trading ninety-seven seven ninety-five. The euro is at one ten to one U.S. dollar. The yen is at one hundred seven point one eight, and the pound is out here at one twenty-three to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so bottom line is that if we go back to the highs that were generated out here in July 26th, you're at 302.23 on the, on the SPs. You come off those highs with monster volume. On the 31st of July, you did 104 million. Uh, on the 1st of August, you did 142. Now, last Thursday, nice day last Thursday. Still, though, you only came into the 142 with 83 million. Friday, we went sideways with light volume, 49 million. Now, what you're going to have out here today, folks, is yet you, you, you get you got over the highs of Thursday. You're going to close underneath them, 298. 83 is the number. We hit 299.24, and you're going to have lighter volume. That sets up failure on price, failure on volume, and we'll see, bottom line, how this shakes out the next few days. When you get something like this, particularly coming into a downdraft, that's saying that, guess what? You're going to try to get into the 293 area, your 297. My take is that we're actually going to get trying to get down into this 281 area. That's on your S&P. We take a look at the NDX 100. NDX 100 has been weaker than the... S&P's, SM, the NDX 100, and this is where it's going to get kind of cool, actually, because the, we, on last Thursday, you had the NDX go up 34 million shares. You had a high out there of 192.32. Bottom line, yesterday, I mean, Friday, you went sideways, 192.17, and then today, what you did, you got over that high, and bottom line, there's going to be light volume. Uh, it couldn't even get to the high of Thursday. That, that's how you can tell where the sectors are strength versus the weakness. NDX 100 is the weakest one out here, and uh, I suspect NDX 100 also wants to make a run down to the 179 area. Small caps, we take a look at the small caps, you'll see that the small caps never got up to the top of the range. The top of the range in the small caps was 152.63. We made it last Thursday to 151.91. You made it today to 152.24. And bottom line, looks like we're going to close under the Thursday high, which is be an additional failure on price as well as volume. 
Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract down six dollars and thirty cents. You're trading the fifteen oh nine, and this is the like the first real correction uh, as th that we've had basically since May. What I expect we're going to see with gold. Gold is going to make its way down. You get two different areas here. You get a breakout area of fifteen oh three, as well as fourteen eighty four. Fourteen eighty four is game. That's that's what it looks like to me, um, and that area, by the way, that is only, I think it's not even a 0 .382, it's a, a 0 .28, I believe. It's a 0 .23. I'm not, just about, it's about a 25% correction from the lows to the highs. You got to remember, gold stock taken off on May uh, 29th. That was at 1289. Gets all the way up to a price point of 1565. And that being said, that still doesn't uh, negate your larger ABC structure up. Uh, inside the gold market. Silver, silver set up the exact same way. What we had with silver last week, silver last week had quite a run. Uh, right now you're trading at $18 and a penny. Uh, so what silver had done three months ago was at $14.35. Last week you got up to $19.54. You come off that level. You did come off that level with volume, okay, which is always a problem. Let me pull this back, SIZ. Nine. So we have inside that silver market right now uh, 130,000 contracts, and we needed this because, yeah, because we had big volume coming off that high. Uh, you made the high out here with uh, 157,000 contracts. We came off it with 194, 222, and now what you have out here with 130. Um, that's that's a nice situation because what, when you come off any place with with volume. You got to, in order to get to higher price, you got to get under that bar first, reject the bar, then the baby can start again. That being said, silver, I think silver actually can get into uh, 1762 uh, on this pullback. Notes and bonds. The bottom line, notes and bonds. Now, these are still consistent. You know, th I think the, the gold market, folks, is going to be a little tricky this week. That's how this is shaking out. It's because the aspect of the amount of gains that have been in the gold market are extraordinary, okay, since the last three months. The note and bond market, however, those gains have been extraordinary also, but guess what? There are no sellers in this market, in the note and bond market. We take a look at this 10-year uh, out here today. What you're going to see is the 10-year, down 18 ticks. You, go, you, you have a 1.1 million contracts. You're going into 3.2 million contracts. That is anemic volume. The 30-year, we take a look at the 30-year out here, what you have with the 30-year, 30, 30 years down to 210,000 contracts, and let me, and what happens, folks, on this roll right here, you have to go back to the last contract to actually get the exact number. Now, this is kind of cool because you can do it pretty quickly. Yeah, so we're going into 570,000 contracts, and we were talking 225. King dollar. What are we got with King dollar? We'll see what King dollar is going to get any follow through to the downside out here. What you had out here today, you got a sideways move. You're down 120 ticks, 17,928 contracts. You're going to need a lot more contract volume for lower price inside King dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials. Dow right now trading up 42. Nasdaq's down 26. S&P's are down three. We'll come right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Go get them, folks. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 40. Nasdaq's down 26. S&P's are down 3.5. And, and uh, normally, folks, on Monday, we get our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, up. And guess what? It's a beautiful thing. It's Steve's birthday. We all want to wish, wish him a happy, healthy birthday. A lot of grooving out there. You got to love it, man. Steve, make it a great one, man. Make it a great year also. As you come over to our website, folks, at TFNN, Gold Report. Okay, so check it out. Gold has an incredible run, folks, okay? Since May, uh, bottom line, you know, we're at September uh, 9th out here today. As you come over to our website at TFNN, uh, we, I, I am going to be doing a workshop uh, for my subscribers. It's going to be a week from this Wednesday night. Uh, what we're going to be talking about, okay? Bottom line, we're going to be talking about the aspect of, you know, how the bond market moves the gold market, where the gold demand trends are coming from, because there's some monster trends in this market, folks, that we haven't seen in years. In fact, some of them we haven't seen at all. Uh, and th there's, a, there's another one in here which is really intriguing, and what it is is this. It's the aspect of the how gold outperforms currencies over time. And now, you know, I'm, I'm certainly talking a long period of time, but when you see how this works, it's, pro it's pretty incre incredible. Now, you can, well, what ended up, and then the last part of this, um, and this is, this is a big number. So gold right now, folks, is trading the average of 110 billion a day in value. Now, that's more than the Dow Industrials. I'm, it, it's a, gold's a worldwide market. There's no doubt about that. But that is a large number. If we go back to the, the, the currency deal um, for a bit, this one gets really intriguing. And I'm not going to let it all out. But what does happen is this, is that you can take just, well, you can take any currency in the world and go back, you know, basically 50, 100 years. And you're going to see the amount of value that that currency lost in the aspect of gold. Now. There's no doubt that you can make the case, which is a correct case to make, that let's say if we went back 50 years and you take one dollar and you take, you know, an ounce of gold. Let's just, we'll do a hundred to an ounce of gold, Doesn't, just so I can give you an idea. When you're looking at the aspect of what has happened is that, you know, gold would be staying higher. That hundred dollars is going to be worth anywhere from four dollars to a minus three dollars to seventeen dollars at the most, okay? Now, that would be if you're just holding it. 
and you can you can definitely the case is real that okay you're going to take your dollars and you're going to invest your dollars and do something the thing that's so intriguing about this and that's what's intriguing about this run in gold this particular time is that we are down at interest rates that we haven't seen the world is down at negative interest rates so the bottom line is going to put this all together for my subscribers if you'd like to be a subscriber this is the time to do it come over to our website at tfnn you can test drive it, it's 30 day money back guarantee. You'll get a great gold report. You'll come in the workshop and technically, I'm gonna walk you through it. Fundamentally, I'm gonna walk you through it also. So check it out right on the front page of TFNN. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, this is what we have. And this, this will be, I suspect, a low volume market out here also, because what we have done is this, we got over the highs, we're gonna close underneath them, you're gonna see a failure on price as well as volume. You got uh, Ma Bell it was the mover out here, right now it's only up by uh, 72 cents though. This thing was up, uh, let's see, we were up as high as uh, $38.14. Right now you're at uh, 36.98, and what that's all about is that you get um, Elliott Management and Singer in the stock in, in a huge way, and they're gonna be looking for them to start unloading some companies. Snap, Snap is down $1.27, you get GE of 25 cents, you get uh, Slack Technologies, that continues to get Snap, that's down another $2. Roku, Roku finally took a hit, this is interesting, Roku's down $8, let's see what's going on here. This has been on a tear. Uh, no doubt. Look at this. Yeah, made another all-time high today. Uh, made an all-time high at $176. Right now, we are trading at $159. If we take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials, uh, you get Walgreens uh, up 5.5%. Caterpillar's up 35 You get Goldman up 3%. Uh, JP Morgan's up 3 Let's go look at Goldman here for a second, okay? So the financials in general. Okay, no juice behind the move. Look at this. This is pretty intense, actually. So Thursday, we did uh, 517,000 uh, shares. Right now, you're at 211,000, and you're coming into 686. That, that is something that is anemic. J.P. Morgan Chase. J.P. Morgan has volume behind the move. Uh, Thursday, we did 13 million. You're at nine now. Okay, so it's not going to beat that, but the bottom line, you have an expansion of volume. Uh, this looks like it also wanna, wants to run up to 116.80. Right now, you're at 115. NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. As I said a little bit earlier, the NDX, folks, continues to be one of the weaker indices. Um, uh, the, okay, so the, on the uh, upside, this is the same one. It's Walgreens is, is leading it. Uh, NTAP is up 5%. You got Wynn Casinos up 3 on the downside, IDEX Pharmaceutical, that's getting hit pretty good, down 7.3%. Mercado Libre is down 5.8%. You get PayPal off 4.8, and Intuit is down 4.3. Let's go to PayPal for a second. Take a look at PayPal, 104.76. This is quite a move, so let's see what they're saying. This is, this is actually setting up an ABC structure down. Um, so, you, you got it, the price projection was raised this morning by Citigroup, and uh, the bottom line is that uh, they're not buying it, because <laughs> someone uh, is moving this thing out lockstep. Let's go look at, I wanna look at some of these bigger trades out here. Well, yeah, there's, yeah, you get a lot of 5,000s and uh, 4,000s, but not as heavy as I thought we would have. Uh, this is setting up an ABC down, though. This is going after the lows that were established out here on the 5th of August. That's 102.42. And you'd need 4.2 million shares. Right now, you're at 2 million. Put this on a weekly. Yeah. Okay. So, this is going to get interesting. Weekly set up the same way. We put it on the monthly, and you get the same setup inside the monthly. That's saying quite a bit. Oil. This is, uh, oil caught a bit out here. Uh, it doesn't have juice behind the move. Now, oil market right now, we are up a buck 47. You're over the range, however. The, the, the range here, the, the range of last uh, Friday, uh, Thursday rather, was 57.76. That's where it gave it up. You know, what, we'd, what had happened, folks, is this. We came in with a lot less oil. The market 
This is the EIA numbers. The market went from $55 to 5776 Then it gave it up on price. You're over that level right now, and that says the oil market can get up to the 5886 uh, level. Small caps. What do we got with the small caps? Small caps continue to be the laggard in the market in general. Uh, small caps up here, you're, you're up a buck 88. Uh, you got over the high of Thursday, which is the 151.91, and uh, we'll see how this shakes out coming at the close. But what I do expect we're going to see as we come into the close is that it's going to give it up. We go back to Marbell. Marbell was in play, is in play. Uh, you're up 72 cents right now. You're trading at 36.97. And that Marbell looks like it's going to try to get into at least the 3980 area. Don't forget about the uh, workshop I'm going to be doing for the Gold Report subscribers, folks. It's real easy to get into. It's going to be a great workshop. It's a week from this Wednesday. The way you get into the workshop, go to our website at TFNN, hit the Gold Report. You can subscribe. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Dow Industrials down 41, up 41, rather. NASDAQ down 26. S&P's down 3. We're coming right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for traders by traders every market day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected minds in the business. TFNN broadcasts five days a week, live from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have live programming every market day during market hours. Every morning, Larry Pesavento kicks off the trading day live at 9 a.m. and breaks down the opening bell with Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the TFNN Bull Bear Trading trading hour, followed at 11 a.m. by the team at TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim with Fast Market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now up 44. NASDAQ is down 25. S&Ps are off three and a half. And the bottom line is that we uh, go over here and we take a look at the uh, Google. Google uh, right now. So you get uh, 50 uh, attorneys general uh, opened a broad investigation into whether advertising practices at Alphabet's Google violate antitrust laws. State attorneys general uh, led by Ken Paxton of Texas 
uh, announced the probe Monday on steps of the Supreme Court in Washington, citing concerns that the company is raising costs for advertising, questioning whether consumers are getting the best information from research results. Yeah, this is going to be a long, drawn-out affair, folks. Uh, but what I do expect you are going to see uh, is that uh, you're going to see some changes in this business. When I say that, I'm talking three, four, five, maybe maybe longer than that, uh, in order to basically sort this out. And we'll see how this whole thing shakes out because there's no doubt that the Google as well as Facebook. Let's bring up Facebook. They have a stranglehold uh, on the advertising business. Uh, the digital advertising businesses and everything is going digital folks and just so you can like wrap your head around for a second of how this actually works the the advertising agencies themselves folks right they have everything uh, to basically gain and um they have a lot to lose uh, as they try to break these these gangs up, meaning Google and Facebook. Because what happens in the advertising business, I'm talking about, you know, the Procter & Gamble's in the world, the, all the big companies in the world that use the largest advertisers. There's, there's not a lot of advertising companies in the world also. They rolled all those advertising agencies up. Bottom line, they work on a cut of the gross. That's how this thing shakes down. So they could, what they would like, okay, is prices to keep going because we're talking about percentages of the gross as it's going up. So each time that bottom line, it goes up, you just, they just fire another order off. And I can tell you from the experience of being in this business a long period of time, uh, when you hear these stories about the large companies being on sites that they don't even know about, um, that is a very uh, large part of the business, meaning uh, advertising fraud. Now, certainly the advertising agencies aren't doing that on purpose. What does happen is that there's, there's a huge business just of doing that, meaning you're operating sites, you're getting thousands and thousands of computers hitting those sites, so it looks like those sites are basically doing business, the ads drop on them, and guess what? You're paying for nothing. So that is gonna get really intriguing over the next uh, few years to see how that shakes out. What we're also going to see is that quarter by quarter, what has been happening is that Amazon has been basically starting to eat into them a bit. Now, Amazon's still a really small part in the advertising business, but I suspect that's going to get bigger. What Amazon has done out here today, you're down $3.40. Amazon also got over the highs of Thursday. Now, the differential, this is pretty cool to watch what has happened to Amazon. The S&P 500, the Dow Industrials, the NDX 100, as well as the NASDAQ, all right, all got over their range last Thursday. Amazon did not. As, you know, it just got right into ice. This is a pure Wyckoff term. That means where, where you broke down, it came up to ice, came up to ice at light volume, failed. And we're going to get out here today, it looks like we're going to get another failure on price as well as volume. That's going to set up. Now, with, with Amazon, this is pretty wild because Amazon is off its high of uh, 2035. Right now, we are trading at 1824. And it looks to me like it doesn't necessarily have to stop at the bottom of this range, which is the 1745. Because when we came down, we got very close to the 1672 area, which is the low that was generated out here on June 3rd. Amazon is always tough, folks, um, to buy in the retracement. Um, each and every time that, you know, we get a correction in the marketplace, Amazon can just be vicious. You know, the last correction that we got, so check it out, Amazon went from 2050 in September of 2018 to 1307 and then just turned around, didn't look back until it reached 2035 again. So that is how Amazon likes to trade. It's pretty wild, actually. Netflix, NFLX, this has been a weak stock in the market. Uh, you get a little bump up today, hasn't been able to hold price. Uh, it, it was uh, up as much as uh, 7 $8 today. Right now you're up 4 um, Same setup. This looks to me like, let's pull this back. Yeah, this is, this is going to be one of the first equities that are going to be down at 231, which is the December high volume low. Um, and as I've said many times, when you take a look at the 
if we take a look at the SPX, it looks to me like we're in a very large consolidation. And the bottom of that consolidation on the S&P cash is 2346. Now the top of this is 2939. Now watch this. This is and you're going to be saying, "Oh, we're, we're higher than that right now." And that's my point because we're not in the lower range yet. Like when, when we broke topside, folks, okay? You know, we had the week of June 28th was the big week. We hit 2964. The week after that, which is the uh, Last week of July, you got up to that 30.37. The S&P cash, now this is the cash, has to get back inside 29.39 in order to basically get into lower price. Uh, but that's, that's how this baby looks to me. And then, you know, it, it makes sense too, by the way, okay? Because we had a one-way street on the way up, started January of 2016 at $1,812, and you go straight up to uh, 29.40. You do the correction, and this thing looks to me like we're going to basically be, be in this correction for um, a bit longer. The uh, TLT, let's go take a look at the uh, bond market out here again. Uh, we have the TLT, you're going to see it right in the TLT. You're going to pull back, you're at 9.7 million shares. This is anemic, folks. This is like a joke, meaning you're going into 16 million shares, you're going into a breakout area with 16 million, uh, 16 million shares also, and you're only doing 9.75. They're not selling bonds. Doesn't look like they are going to sell bonds either. And that, what's really wild about that is that when I was, you know, we're looking at the gold market, the silver market, that still looks to me like you're going to have some volatility this week. It's still going to be tricky in a big way. Still does want to pull back. Those notes and bonds do not want to pull back at all. The euro, that's, we're going to be hearing a lot more about Boris Johnson. We're going to be hearing about... Uh, Brexit uh, in a large way uh, each and every week coming up to October 23rd. Euro right now today up 21 ticks. Uh, not out of the woods yet. The euro has to get back inside 111 in order to basically uh, continue at higher price. Right now you're at 110. The British pound. We take a look at the pound. Pound out here trading 123.47. You're up 64 ticks. The pound's making it. This is going to be interesting. So the pound, to, let me put this this way, to get back inside the higher range, you got 124. 124 would be the number, approximately, 124. And we're at 123.47 right now. So it does look to me that uh, the pound is going to have a shot to get back inside the higher range. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 30, up 31. NASDAQ down 23, S&P's up three. And the Dow give, give, has given quite a bit back since the uh, highs of today to the lows of today, folks. Stay right there, come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the tax opportunity zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't 
miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go over a couple, take a look at a couple of financials. You got... Citigroup right now up $3.06. All the financials are moving out here today, folks. Citigroup, 15.3 uh, million shares. Now you're coming into uh, 22.5. Uh, what you have out here, gonna, no doubt, it's going to be about the uh, note and bond market. Uh, right now we have the 10-year at 1.62. So if we take a look at this 10-year, what you're going to see inside the 10-year is that the, there she is. We uh, come into a, well, yeah, let, let's do this. Six months ago, the 10 year is a 2.67. It's hard to comprehend, right? 2.67. So a full point from where we are. Uh, six days ago, we were at 1.472. Today, you're at 1.68. Uh, what's intriguing is that it didn't take much uh, for that to, to get a pop. Uh, and to basically put a little juice inside those financials. We'll see how long they last. Uh, Citigroup themselves, they came out this morning and they were talking about that uh, they were warning that their trading volume was going to fall amid the third quarter uh, volatility. And what happens, folks, is that when, when any large trading firm comes out and is saying that the, the volatility is going to get to them, what happens is this, is that banks and broker dealers, large operations, when they are buying and selling, whether it's equities, whether it's currencies, whether it is notes and bonds, currencies, uh, debt rather, uh, most of the time they actually know where that is going to go before they're even buying it. So volatility is something that gets them in spades in a huge way because what ends up happening is that on one side, you can be, they can be buying into it. If that market moves too fast, then on the other side, the, the client on the other side is saying, hey, see ya, don't want to be ya. And so what ends up happening is that they lose out on the aspect of that spread. That's how this thing shakes out. They're always working on a spread, um, and that's how uh, they suspect they're going to move less product, and that's why you're going to see the aspect of, uh, as Citigroup just said, they're going to see lighter trading volume. That being said, you can see these banks uh, are up today. If we go take a look at the XLF, uh, inside the XLF out here, that has uh, 59 million shares. Now, it's certainly going into monster volume, 107 million. It doesn't have that juice. On Thursday, what we did out here, we did 68 million. You did 59 today. You know, So that's still in a counter trend bounce. That's the way uh, that looks to me. Um, this is, a, this is quite a headline. Bad news, U.S. home buyers, sub-zero mortgages ain't happening. Well, guess what? I don't think, I don't think that um, you have home buyers waiting for sub-zero mortgages, folks, in the United States of America. Uh, with this article, is about America's would-be home buyers uh, jealous of the citizens of Denmark, where um, the Denmark Bank recently offered 10-year mortgage bonds at a fixed rate of negative 
five tenths of one percent should realize that the possibility of the same happening here is slim. Well, of course it is. I mean, you know, that being said, guess what? You know, when you do the numbers on the aspect of this tenure, uh, number one, my take is that we're going for the 131. And with this bounce out here, uh, you can see when you're looking at the TLT that the bounce is on light volume. The TLT is rejecting lower price. That's saying that this note as well as the bond market is just not done yet. That's how this thing is shaking out. Apple. Apple got their hand caught in the cookie jar with Foxconn. Uh, Price-wise, it doesn't matter. What I'm talking about here, folks, is that uh, in the month of August, the Foxconn, as well as Apple, uh, bottom line, the, that they have uh, violated uh, uh, Chinese law. And this is pretty intense, actually, because you can imagine uh, Chinese law versus the United States law inside of factories of what you can get away with. Uh, bottom line is that, well, they basically pushed it to the hilt. And specifically what we're talking about is this, is that you don't say it's supposed to have uh, what, the, what the Foxconn and Apple has done, and this is in the month of uh, August, is that temporary staff known as dispatch workers made up 50% of their workforce in August, and Chinese labor law stipulates that only 10% of that can be. So uh, it's not affecting the stock, there's no doubt about that. Uh, I guess it's just going to be a matter of um, public relations as to, uh, you know, you're making the phones over there, you're paying a thousand bucks. And the U.S. for a phone, okay, what does it mean, if it means anything? It did definitely means something, that's, that's for sure. Uh, bottom line is that they're supposed to be the goody two-foot uh, deal. Well, guess what? <laughs> you better look at that again. Platinum. We take a look at the platinum market out here. Platinum uh, finally made a run. Bottom line, three months ago, platinum's at $795. Uh, last week, we got up to $1,000. Look at that, $1,000.80. If we do take a look at platinum, we put platinum on the continuous contract out here. What you're going to see, okay, so in the continuous contract, yeah, look at this. So platinum wants to run, 1,022 is the next level. Actually, 1,199 is the next level out here inside the platinum market. So we uh, will see whether platinum can catch up with the price of gold because what we do what we definitely had out here I, I believe it's five years now in fact let's do it I'll put it up right now where gold got stronger than platinum and GC1 okay we'll update this and I'm gonna put this back 20 months and what you're going to see when we're looking at this chart is that platinum has always been over the price of gold when it, when it has come under the price of gold prior to 2013, you're talking about three or four weeks. Not Now we are on basically uh, four and a half years. Uh, platinum got under the price of gold four and a half years ago, hasn't got above it yet. Uh, my take is that yes, it's going to once again. Uh, why? Because this it's a hard it's a harder rock to basically get the ore out of the rock it's used more it's there's less of it in the world um and you know so we'll see where this shakes out uh wild it's a wild market though inside that metal market oh this is pretty cool so what you had is this so last week picture gold stopped pulling back last week that being said what we had is that we had the copper market, as well as the iron ore market, it looks to me like they, they came off the bottom. Copper traded down to a price point of uh, 248 last week, you're 262. Iron ore, so these are the basic metals. Iron ore did the same thing. If we take a look at iron ore, iron ore right now is trading at 652. Uh, we hit a low two weeks ago of 571. And they're both set up for higher price right now. So that's going to be pretty cool watching how this whole thing shakes out because there's no doubt that the trade wars um, hit both of those in an extraordinary way. What does happen with commodities, however, which is great, is that commodities can only go so low under the price of production and then the supply starts to dwindle. Why? Because the miners basically are not going to keep basically spending their money to get something out of the ground that is costing them no more 
uh, to get out of the ground than it is to sell. So we'll see where that shakes out. And, and you, what, you, what you also did have is that as copper come off the bottom, you had um, southern copper also come off the bottom in the copper market, and you had Valley uh, inside the iron ore market also come off the bottom. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading up 34, NASDAQ down 16, S&P's off two and a half. Don't forget, folks, you want to come in, get the gold report, great workshop, check it out on the front page of TFNN. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 50. NASDAQ is down 12. S&P is a flat. Let's see what's going to happen here with an S&P flat market. Because we had got over the highs of uh, Friday and... Uh, on Thursday, rather, and let's see, 298.83. Yeah, you're still going to have a failure. You're going to have a failure in price and a failure in volume out here today, folks. SPY right now got to 299. You're at 298.18. The high of Thursday was 298.83. You had 83 million shares. Guess what? You're only at 43 million right now. And we are back now on full trading, folks, okay? The bottom line is that, you know, last... Monday, of course, you had Labor Day. Bottom line, we're full on right now. So this is uh, bottom line. You could expect 
the volume is the volume flat out. The next time they're going to be uh, looking at something like this uh, brings us into, uh, you get uh, the Columbus Day weekend. Uh, realistically, Thanksgiving is going to be the time that, yeah, you'll see the volume dry up again um, in the aspect of holiday type of trading. NDX 100. NDX 100 set up the exact same way. NDX out here. We are at 191.17. That didn't even make it up to the high of uh, uh, Thursday. And what you did do, we got an expansion of volume from Friday. So that also is setting up that, hey, guess what? Lower prices coming at you. As you come over to our website at TFNN, uh, we just announced today, uh, if you'd like to get in the gold market, check out the gold market. Real easy to do. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can subscribe to the Gold Report. I'm going to be doing a webinar, folks, for all my subscribers. That's going to be a week from this Wednesday. Uh, bottom line, comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can subscribe. Uh, for one month, it's only $97. For six months, it's $4.99, which is a savings of $133. For a year, it's $7.85, which is a savings of $379. What am I going to be talking about? Uh, we're going to be talking about the next leg up in gold, $17.94. Why? Why is it going to get there? We're going to be talking about it. Check it out, folks, right in the front page of TFNN. Dow, Dow Industrials uh, right now uh, trading up. Come on, baby. Up uh, 37, NASDAQ down 17, S&P's uh, down two and a half. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, have a great one, have a safe one. We look forward to speaking to right back here tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Go get them, folks. Larry Pesavino.